my dear students assalamu alaikum again you are most welcome to online class and also welcome to rajukutra model college you are the student of renown in institution in bangladesh that is rajukutra model college we were going to carry the online class i have already given the lecture number 1 for the subject of accounting for the chapter 1 that is introduction to accounting part 1 today i will give the lecture number 2 for the part of 2 of chapter 1 that is transaction do students you have to listen very carefully my speech and i hope you have to learn you have to understand the topic of transaction from the primitive ages people felt the necessity of keeping accounts in those days people used to exchange objects among them to meet their daily needs the event that brings change to the financial position among people is known as transaction therefore it is seen that not all events are transactions to get the real fan picture of the organizations only the financial events are treated as transactions after studying this chapter we will be able to explain the concept of transaction definition of transaction identify the nature of transactions explain accounting equation that is the very important topics in this chapter the impact of transactions over accounting equation essential documents related to transactions you are watching in my slide the basic concept of transaction transaction is the basic foundation of bookkeeping i repeat again transaction is the basic foundation of bookkeeping it may be question what is the basic foundation of bookkeeping answer is transaction anything that happens in the daily life of a man is an event there are two types of events monetary events that is economic events and non monetary events that the that is non economic events all events are not transactions but all transactions are event transaction originate from the events which are connected with or related to money and these events are recorded in the books of accounts the meaning of the word of transaction is taking and giving or receiving and paying in every transaction there are at least two parties one party receives the benefit and other party gives the benefit receiver is debit and giver is credit a transaction is an agreement communication or movement carried out between a buyer and a seller to exchange an asset for payment it involves a change in the status of the finances of two or more businesses or individuals the buyer and seller are separate entities or objects open involving the exchange of items of value such as information goods services and money it is still a transaction if the goods are exchanged at one time and the money at another this is known as a two part transaction part 1 is giving the money part 2 is receiving the goods or any other properties 
Dear learners, I think you have written in your accounting practice copy for your betterment for future discussion. Now we can go for definition of transaction. In ordinary sense, any giving and taking of goods or services measurable in terms of money which brings about a change in the financial position of a person or an organization is called transaction. In modern concept, that is the current concept, the event through which any change is affected in the assets, liabilities and ownership or proprietorship of a person or an institution is called transaction. I repeat again, the event through which any change is affected in the assets, liabilities and ownership or proprietorship of a person or an institution is called transaction. According to accounting specialists and organizations, the famous writers Wagant, Kaiso and Kimmel, a transaction is financial in nature which is expressed in terms of money and generally transfer of values between two parties. According to Hermanson, Eden and others, transaction is a recordable happening or event that affects the assets, liabilities, owner's security, revenues or expenses of any entity. According to Nobel and Nishangar, any happening that brings change in the pattern of assets or liabilities or proprietorship of a business concern is a financial transaction to it. Dear students, I think you have already understood the definition of accounting. Now, this is the characteristics or features or nature of transaction. There are so many features of transaction. You are watching in the slide, 11 features or characteristics or nature of transaction are there. Number one, measurable in terms of money, change in the financial position. That is change in quantity and change in, in the st structural. Number three, dual aspect, a dual entity or at least two parties. Number four, visibility and invisibility. Next one is self-sufficient and independent. Sixth one, documentary evidence. Number seven, historical events. Number 8, basis of accounting, that is cash basis and accrual basis. Number 9, actual amount of liability. Number 10, exchange of product or services. Number 11, recorded in the books of accounts. Dear students, you must write the characteristics of transaction in your accounting practice copy. My dear students, so far we have learned that every transaction is an event but not every event is a transaction. By analyzing the concept of transaction, we will get the following features of it. Measurable in terms of money. One of the more important features of a transaction is that it has to be measurable in terms of money or else it could not be treated as a transaction. For example, the death of the officer of a farm is a loss to the farm but is not measurable in terms of money. However, cash stolen from the cash box stuck at 20,000 is a loss to the firm and will be treated as a transaction. Number two, changes the financial condition or position. If any event brings any financial changes to a firm, it will be treated as a transaction. For example, somebody bought furniture with cash Taka 5000 
Here the furniture of the business has been increased by 5000. At the same time cash has also been decreased. Since this event has brought about a change in the financial position of the business, it will be treated as a transaction. If an order for buying furniture worth 50,000 is placed, it will not be treated as a transaction as it has not brought any financial change in the business yet. Number 3. Dual entity. Every transaction must include two parties. That is, one party will receive benefits while the other will ensure the same. For example, wages paid to worker. Taka 2000. Here one party is the salary expense while the other one is cash. Number 4. Visibility and invisibility. Transactions can be both visible and invisible. For example, machinery purchased worth uh, 10,000. It is a visible transaction. Again, the depreciation that is written down value of furniture or re reducing value of furniture that is depreciation uh, 1,000 is an invisible transaction. Complete and independent. Another important feature of transaction is that each transaction is completely separate and independent from the other. For example, goods sold on credit on January 1 for Taka 50,000. But for January 10, received from customer Taka 10,000 for selling goods on credit here the payment received is a separate transaction and goods sold on credit the separate also historical event the financial matters that have taken place previously are known as historical transactions if any user events change the financial position of the business, it will also be treated as a transaction. For example, bad debt provision, discount reserve on debtors or creditors, etc. Impact over accounting equation with the another important features and natures of transaction the accounting equation is affected by each transaction transaction causes change to different elements of the accounting equation we know the accounting equation is asset is equal to liabilities plus owners equity any event is justified through accounting equation to see if it is a transaction or not Dear students, in ancient time, non-financial transactions were commonly conducted through systems of credit in which goods or services were exchanged for a promise of future recompense. Debts must eventually be, be settled either with goods or by payment of money. A substance of accurate value such as gold and silver, systems of credit are evident throughout recorded historian from archaeology as fixed currencies were gradually replaced by floating currencies during the 20th century and as the recent development of computer networks made electronic money possible financial transactions have rapidly increased in speed and complexity dear learners i think you have understood the characteristics or features and nature of transaction. In a word, we can say all transactions are event, but all the events are not transaction. Now we can go for types of transaction. There are five types category. Number one is according to object. According to object three types of transaction, business transaction, non-business transaction, third one is personal transaction. 
Number two types according to visibility. Two types of transaction: visible transaction and invisible transaction. According to institution relationship, external transaction and internal transactions. According to exchange of cash, cash transaction, non-cash transaction, credit transaction. According to nature, capital transaction, revenue transaction. Dear students, different types of transaction are there. Now example of transaction, the first one is business transaction, that is goods purchase on credit for the business, that is the business transaction. Then number two, non-business transaction, that is donation paid to relief fund, that is the non-business transaction. Number three, personal transaction, due from the business by the owner, that is the personal transaction, but related to business. According to visibility, visible transaction, that is goods sold on credit, that visible transaction, but depreciation on furniture, that is invisible transaction. External transaction, goods sold in cash. Salary paid to manager, external transaction depreciation that is internal transaction according to exchange of cash cash transaction goods sold in cash goods purchased in cash salary paid in cash receipt for commission in cash number two non-cash transaction uncollectible debt depreciation discount allowed goods drawings the non-cash transaction etc credit transaction goods sold on credit furniture purchased on credit goods purchased on credit old computer sold on credit that is the on credit transaction we know according to nature two types of transaction capital transaction and revenue transaction Capital transactions, uh, large amount of money related and long term basis and non recurring transaction that is capital, additional capital, loan, furniture purchase, land purchase, land sold, etc. But revenue transaction is recurring, short term, and a small amount of money are related in this transaction. There is goods purchase, stationary purchase. It's sold in cash, that is revenue type transaction. Dear learners, I think you have understood the types of transaction. Now we can go for documents of transaction. This is a very important item for transaction. When any transactions occur, then the document or evidence is required in the current world. Number one, invoice. It is used on credit purchase and on credit sales. Number two, bill and cash memo. It is used in cash purchase and cash sales. Number three, voucher. There are two types of voucher, debit voucher and credit voucher. Debit voucher used for expenses and credit voucher used for incomes. Number four, note, that is debit note and credit note. Debit note used for purchase return, that is return outward and credit note used for sales return or return inward number five bet invoice or bet chalan another one is money receipt etc are also documents of transaction dear learners i think you have written in your account the practice copy now we can go for the main items of this chapter Relate accounting equation. In a particular time, the total assets of an organization to, should be equal to the sum of owner's equity and external liabilities. We know the accounting equation is account A is, uh, A is equal to L plus E. In this case, A is equal to assets, L is equal to liabilities, E is equal to equity or proprietorship. 
another equality or owner's equity is equal to capital plus c plus r minus x minus d that is c is equal to capital r is equal to revenues x is equal to expenditures d is equal to drawings the equation that represents this fundamental concept is known as the accounting equation accounting scholars have only identified those as transactions that affect the elements of accounting equation therefore the events that make changes in assets liability and equity are considered as transaction the basic accounting equation also called the balance sheet equation represents the relationship between the assets liabilities and owner security of a business it is the foundation for the double entry bookkeeping system for each transaction the total debit equal the total credits dear students now we can discuss about the asset liability and equity asset means the economic resources that belongs to a business that is invested for making profit for example furniture building machinery land etc of a business liability liability means the financial responsibility that has to be paid after a certain period of time that is it is the claim of the third party over the total assets of the business another one equity if the claim of the third party is deducted from the total assets of the business the rest will be known as equity that is the ownership this is the claim of the owner over the entire assets of the business is known as equity four elements affect equity capital revenue drawings expenses capital means investment of owner question is what is accounting equation answer is a asset is equal to liabilities plus equity another question is what is extend in accounting equation a is equal to l plus c plus r minus e minus d this is the extend in accounting equation dear learners i think you have written in your accounting practice copy for your pusr betterment now we can go for knowing the effect on accounting equation if an event is to be transaction it has to satisfy any five on of the following changes or it has to make any one of the following changes if total asset increases then total liabilities or owner equity will also increase if total asset decreases then total liabilities or owner equity will also decrease if an asset increases then other asset will decrease number 4 if owners equity decreases then liabilities will increase will decrease if owner security increase then liabilities will decrease another one if owner security decreases then liabilities will increase dear students if any transactions are uh, to be affected on accounting equation then at least to one features is available in each transaction dear learners i hope you have understood this lesson for the part of introduction to our accounting part 2 that is transaction for the lecture number 2 for this chapter that is chapter 1 that's all for being today allah hafiz